Hi guys, my name is FireFi and welcome back to another episode of Dyson Sphere Program. Now today, what we're going to do. So I do have a plan to get to start making this green uh, matrix, research matrix, which would then be, I think that's the last one until you go to the white, it is the last one until you unlock the white. So. We're going to have to wait for that though, because there's still a bit of research to do. Let me just queue that up. So why wait for that? What I have thought I wanted to do, I want to get rid of this. I really want to get rid of this. It's too cluttered. And on top of that, I'm not producing enough for the things I need. So for things like these power supplies, I need these blue turbines and I am making nowhere near enough. I'm making like one a second, like zero a minute. Not one a second, one a second would be good. I'm making like one an hour at this rate. So it's not enough. I want more because I really like these. They last long, they're fun. They keep me going, give me a lot of energy. So yeah, so what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move this whole turbine production onto another planet. There's a lot of space there. I'm gonna power up resources and I'm going to build a massive, massive turbine production. So if we look at the base of this turbine production, it's literally iron and copper. No special requirements needed. Just this. These are all iron and copper products. This is the turbine with another iron and copper product. And the blue one is that turbine with... Oh, we need coal. <laughs> Did not know that. But we can always bring that over. Like, it's it's gonna be easy to make a bigger production of these on another planet. We don't need that many resources. So what I'm gonna do, if we take a look here, I have, I'm gonna choose this planet because it's got a load of copper. The reason why I choose this one, also it's got good energy, natural energy, so we can power the planet with energy without having to use our resources. And with this one, I'm gonna take all this iron and pretty much bring it over to that planet. Now, I've already set up the iron ingots and iron ore production on this planet. I've just overloaded it with um, smelters and it's full up, like it's not doing so good. It needs to be relieved. So I've made also, oops, wrong button. I've made some batteries that we're gonna to use to keep power. I've got uh, logistics stations, I've got drones somewhere, and I have uh, vessels. And we're going to make a massive, massive production of this. And then it's all going to come back to here. Or it's going to come back somewhere here. I'm going to, I might have to make another one, which is fine because I've got two, so that's fine. I can actually pull it here and connect it up to whatever I need to connect it up to. And hopefully, I'll be making more than pretty much one an hour. <laughs> I'm hoping to make loads. We'll see. Let, you know what? Let's take a look now of how many I'm making. So on in the last 10 minutes, I've been averaging around 22 a minute. That's, that's okay. But you see, look, I'm averaging nearly 200 a minute here. I want to hit about, I want to try and hit 200, maybe more, maybe more. So you can kind of guess on how big I want to make this um, this factory. Now it's going to take a lot of power. So there may be some power adjustments needed, but we'll figure it out. So I'm going to take maybe a hundred of these. And we can always come back and get more. I'm going to take these ones because we need speed. We want to move things around really fast. Now, I want to get some sorters, but I'm going to get the sorters from down here. Um, yes. If there is any sorters in here. Because, oh, look, there's quite a few, actually. So let's bring all of them. That looks good. All right. Oh, and, and by the way, um, this other... Uh, logistic system over here that go into another star system yeah my my um, 
my vessels have been traveling for a couple of hours now and they still haven't reached there yet because I didn't have any warp engines in there. And that meant they had to fly there without warping. So that's taken a few hours. They're still not on their way back yet. Um, let's actually take a look. We can actually see them if we scroll all the way out and I try and look at that star system. Is it? No, it's not that one. It's not that one. I think it might, no, it's not that one either. Look, there, there it is. Look, they're just reaching there. They're, they're, they've been about five hours, <laughs> literally five hours. And they're not even there yet. I don't know if they're coming back or if they're going, but it was a long time. So I've put warp engines in there now. So hopefully they will move a bit faster, but once the warp engines go, they will stop producing. So we'll have to we'll have to automate some warp engines, but that all comes after we move this base. So let's fly on over to the other base. I just want to make sure I've got everything I need. I do want to make more solar panels just in case. So we're gonna have copper over there. I can get a bunch of these, and just need a bunch of silicon. That's not too bad at all. If I go over here, I should have some circuit boards, I think. Or did I take them away? I mostly took them away. Nope, here they are. So, yeah, we'll take a few circuit boards. Silicon, I've got a few hundred here. And we'll make some. We'll actually make it as we're going. Look, there's 58 there. That's not bad. Hopefully it doesn't take too much power. And we can always make more once we're there. So let's uh, make a move and I'll see you guys there. All right, and we are here. All right, um, what part of the planet do I land on? <laughs> All right, everything's over there. So I can't, uh, yeah, I will keep the titanium storage. I don't really need to though, because I've got a lot of titanium on the other planet that is coming over here. So it's not too bad. Um, let's see what I'm producing over here. So I've got a little iron and copper set up. Got a stone set up. Oh yeah, I left some stuff here, didn't I? Look at that. Look at that. I've got quite a few things in there. That's lovely. And what is my power situation looking like? Oh wow. That is amazing. This place just gets better and better better so what I'm gonna do um, should I get the iron to come from here because we do have a bit of iron but that will run out very fast so I want iron remote demand I wish I can tell it which planet I want it to go to I wish that was a thing um, I don't need to collect from the orbital collector. And I am going to put 10 of you in there. So I've got two left. So there you go. Iron is coming at a ridiculous pace. So we want, what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually find a bit of space like here. Oh wow, look at all this space. And just start building really so I've got 118 of these so it should be enough so we want to build the first tier so let's take a look at this to build this we need cogs ingots magnets and that so we need to build magnets we're getting ingots so that's fine so we need to have a magnet and a cog production. Now, how do I make cogs? What is it, in an assembler? It is an assembler. And magnets are in a smelter? It is. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna get iron ore as well. Remote demand. And I've also built some uh, logistic system for the planet just in case I want to move 
things around. So I'm, I may actually just put one here. Actually, not yet. Let me just plan this out. So if I'm getting iron ore, I can turn them straight into magnets. Now I don't need that for anything else because I'm getting the ingots as well. So I think that's, I think that's pretty fine if I just turn that straight into magnets. So let's get some smelters. That's one thing I didn't bring. I always forget something. Always forget something. Right, smelters there. Let's turn ingots into magnets. Not ingots, or actually into magnets. So we will use, I've got a lot of conveyor belts. That's what I like to see. Actually, yeah, we'll go from behind. We like it from behind. Oh, wow. That sounded a lot worse than I intended it to sound. Uh, let's move these forward a bit. So I want to kind of keep it on that line. Oh, quantum printing done. The next level of assemblers. Happy days. One, two, three, four, five. Let's get that in there and that will literally be this bad boy now I do hope that they're not going all the way to the other star system to get no it looks like they're okay cool <laughs> and my um logistics no my my vessels are a lot faster now they're going at like 1200 seconds per hour per second or miles per second so we're gonna put them in here oh wow you see how fast that filled up these tier three belts are ridiculous really all right so that will be that then i can always expand it so i'm leaving room for expansion so now I think I do want to get a um, a planetary logistics station down here. Like here. That way I can get the iron ingots and the, um, the magnets in there. And we can start building down here. I can also get copper in there. But I've got so much copper around here as well. It doesn't really matter about that. So we need to build cogs. Cogs take iron ingots, so that's fine. So if we build another interplanetary, well not interplanetary, planetary logistic system there, we can start expanding out here. So the first thing we want is cogs. And I want to try and get a nice, decent production of cogs. So I'm trying to think of the best way to lay these out. Maybe something like so. So that can take, well, no, 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 that won't work. Because I need an output, okay. That's fine. How about like? Oh. I want to try and get it as um, ah, synchronized as possible, or symmetrical as possible, shall I say? So how would that work? Would I be able to? So we have one. Oh, that doesn't fit there. Oh, that doesn't fit there either. Why? Is it because it's on an equator? But that can fit like that. But there's no output. Okay, so these are two compact. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna play about a bit and um, try and find a decent layout. And I will see you in two seconds.
Okay, and I am done. Um, look at that, it looks beautiful, doesn't it? So this is my production so far. Um, we need to, I've just turned it on, so we need to give it a bit of time to run. I need to figure out why magnets are not coming. Let's go and take a look. So basically I just built as much as I can, really. Ah, this is why magnets are not coming, because they're not going into anything. Um, okay. I didn't do this bit. I also ran out of conveyor belts, believe it or not. I ran out of conveyor belts, so I had to go back and get more. Um, let's do that. Let's set this up. Now, where I'm gonna, where am I gonna put you? Now it feels weird just to put it in here, just to go back over there. But I will do that for now. Um, and then later on, I'll most probably change it up a bit. Out of building range. There we go. Let's go back over here. Now, I'm going to need to keep an eye on it for a bit to see um, what is going to go wrong, what is not going to go wrong. And I also need to um, get some energetic graphene over here, which is from another planet which is from the main planet, to be honest. So let's just take a look. Let's just finish this um, this line. And let's just take a look at how this is going to go. Hopefully, it would do a decent amount. That's what I'm hoping. Um, got to turn that into uh, magnets. And I may need a few more than just five. To be honest with you. And that also needs an output. That would be handy. In fact, I'm gonna make a lot more than five right now. Let's I've no I don't have any uh smelters. Oh no. Oh no. Iron ingots. We need some ingots guys. So I'll just show you what I've done over here. Um, I've made the first tier, second tier, and last tier. Made a little overflow section, just in case, but I doubt it will overflow. And, ah, this is something I need to sort out. I need to do the filters. So I forgot which one I'm doing. So I think it's ingots in the middle. Hmm, no, it's ingots on this side here. It's copper. Yeah, and then so it's magnets and then copper. I got it. I got it, guys. And then copper. Cool. So that should be producing fairly fast. Look how fast. That is actually going really fast. And that's going to start producing. So I need magnets to come down here, which they've come. They're now coming because that's overflowing there, which is lovely. Mm. Yes, I'm not managing to produce enough magnets at the moment. So everything else is fine apart from these and why is that? Because I'm not producing enough here. Okay, let's let's get some out there. We need to build quite a few. So there's a constant supply. Um, and I think I'll mostly need a few more bots. I've only got, well, there's 15 not doing anything, so. They just don't have enough to do, I guess. So let's put some more down. So I did put 15 of the other ones. So, hopefully, and look, it's, it's well backed up. So we need to increase production pronto. Uh, there we go. 
in there, in there, in there. Output, output. All right, doing this as fast as possible. Really, really fast there. All right, let's get you all booted up. And how many productions have I got here now? I've got four, eight, 11 productions. And it's still, I think, not enough. So, let's, can we make any more? No, I need some more iron or ingots. I'm gonna make loads. I'm gonna just spam it. Because I want a lot more magnets being made. Look, I'm not, I'm nowhere near filling this up. This also may be because uh, the bots are just not able to keep up with the production. So it might just be better to literally just pull it in there. Have I got how much? Uh, I've got enough. Okay. Oh, what did I just do? Ah, and I forgot what was. It. Okay, I know what was in there. All right. I'm literally just gonna do this. Bypass robots and put you in there. And then we can put this back, hopefully. And I'll also try and make more um, There we go. I'll try and make more of the magnets. So we need the energetic and we need these in here. So that is supply, that is demand. Cool. Um, did that the wrong way, didn't I? Don't want to delete the tower again. That goes like that. And that looks fine. That would be that. Right, come on, build this. We need speed, 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 speed. Right, so there you go. So now that is going in there. I'm still not producing as much as I would like. It's, it's catching up. Would that ever go to the end there? Oh, it went to the end. I think actually a few more and it will catch up. Look, I'm making loads now. All of them are in production. Pretty much all of these are going to be in production soon. You know what? I think we need to make a few more. Did I get the iron ingots? Of course I did not get the iron ingots. Of course I didn't. Um, where are they? They are here. There we go. So let's pull it over here. Let's get a few of these done. And power shouldn't be too bad. Yep, yeah, I've got loads of charge. Got loads of charge. I'm using 36. I'm generating bit by bit because I've put the solar panels and some of the other uh, Dyson Sphere ones around the place where sun is going to happen pretty much the majority of the time. So that should, as you can see here. So as long as it's the sunshine in this direction, it should be fine. But that also could change. All right. I think that now should be enough. I may be wrong, but I think that should be enough. And what we do, we just do that. Lovely jumpy. All right, last bit. Let's get you one there. Let's get you one there. Let's uh, copy these settings. Bang, 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 bang. And now, how fast is my? So the ore's going down pretty fast. The iron's going down extremely fast. <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, again, it's only up to a certain point. It's only up to a certain point, and I'm, I've got ten of these going out there, getting the job done. So, all I need to do now, right, why are you not producing? What are you missing? You're not getting enough magnets. Why are you not getting enough magnets? Do I still need more magnets coming in? I think I still need more magnets coming in. Um, in fact, is it even getting past this bit? It doesn't look like it, you know? Wow. I literally need like, I need this belt to be full. That's what it feels like. So can I make any more of these? I need more iron ingots. <laughs> so let's let's just put these three down. So I definitely was wrong. Um, let's just get that and like that. Like that. I'm running out of uh, conveyor belt again. So. We'll go here. We've already got the settings copied. Right, that's a that's a lot going there. That's nearly a full belt. I think I'll need a few more. <laughs> um okay. Maybe I could just put some on this side rather than spreading it over. But you know what, since we've got all the stuff that we need here, let's just go and make as many as possible. Because yeah, I'm, I'm just not getting enough here. Just not getting enough. I'm barely getting enough of this one. I am producing though. Let me see how many I've saved up. I'm producing them quite fast. Like, if we take a look now at this, that's gone up to 400. But, yeah, that's still the same as it was before. In the last minute. So at the moment, I'm producing 595. Using a thousand of these. So, technically, but then that's on the other planet as well. I wish I could just... Oh, I can. Ooh. Um, what is this one called? This is number one. Lovely, jubbly. Right. So I'm producing. Look at that. I'm producing 720, and I'm <laughs> but I'm consuming 720. So yeah, I'm. It's pretty much pretty much one for one at the moment. But I'm not doing enough. Like I need to double the production. I need to hit like 1,400 of these. At the moment, I'm producing 360 on this planet. That's amazing. And 180. That is crazy. Crazy numbers. Okay. Um, I forgot to get ingots again. And how is stock doing? That's fine because that won't really get anything. And the stock here is doing fine. So let's get about 100 of these. Oh, and I can only build one. Why? Ah, oh, stone. Do I have a stone thing around here? I think I do somewhere. Oh, I've got a lot of ingots in here. I forgot about that. And I have a lot of stone here. Cool. In fact, what do I have in here? Oh, wow. I had these. I completely forgot again. I went back just to get them. Um, okay, let's make 24. Well, at least I don't have to go back to get conveyor belts. I know I've got some now. Right, let's just make a whole free belt worth, uh, a mark free belt worth of magnets. Let's actually get some uh, conveyor belts now. Oh, 
All right. And then I need to get the energetic uh, graphene in the system. And then happy days. Right, that can all be copied. Over to here. Can't reach that one. Okay, I'll get that one in a sec. Right, trying to do this in lightning speed. Uh, like that. And um, we'll put one for good luck. And then outputs. Nice and quickly. This is like uh, speed typing. Alright, now inputs. One, two, three, go. Alright. Look how fast I'm doing this. I'm becoming a pro. This is what you call a pro gamer move. I don't think I've got enough um, <laughs> or production to keep up with this actually. Now, are we going to feel this? We're still not filling it. There's still gaps. And this is in a constant flow. Now tell me that you're not producing enough. It's going up. Let's see how fast that goes up. And because this is going up, that's going to go up, that's going to go up, and that's going to go up. So you tell me now, I'm not producing enough to get into this. I'm still not producing enough, am I? I think I've produced, I think I've got way too many of these. That's what it mostly is. I just don't think I can output that much. Um, not at the moment anyway. It's uh, it's slowly getting this one. It's definitely not reaching here. So, you know what? I'm going to cut off this production for now. Because it seems like that's just too much. And then we can uh, get the magnets here. Bit sure. I didn't think I'll be able to do all all of these because if I can do all of these, then you should be doing less here because it's the next tier. Always the next tier, you would need more machines to be able to produce the same amount here. So I I do realize that I would not be able to fill up all of these. It's just exactly like this as well. Once the uh, graphene comes in, I'll most be only be able to do five or six of them. But look at that. That's filling up pretty fast. Okay, so I'm gonna stop admiring it now and I'm gonna get the graphene in here. So we need to go back to base for that. So let's do that. Um, it's pretty quick, but I'll see you guys there. All right, I said I would see you back at the base, but there was no point really. I just put the logistic thing down and put the graphene in there. So where are we going? We're going over here. So, graphene should be coming now. It is here already. Lovely. So that means we should be producing ash. No, you should be going that way. You only go in there in overflow. Same with that one. Cool. So we should be now producing this loveliness now why is you oh because i don't have that there there we go so i've got four running there five picking up so let's quickly take a look at what we're doing here so we're making 82 in our home planet which i believe is number two nope it's number three we are making 28. So we've already nearly, well, I'd say tripled it. Yeah, we've trebled it. Like, and that's just the beginning. It will start picking up, I think, a bit more. Um, what does it look like it's low on? Just these, really. 
and that's low on the engines this is going as far as it really pretty much can so I'm pretty happy with that but I've already made 252 and I can send that right back to base that should be going over here um, local demand there you go and then that will remote supply to my base so then I can get rid of the production in my base so I think that's the, that's great that's the episode done so I thank you very much for watching I really appreciate it and on the next episode we have the research done for the green um, upgrades down here so I think that's the the next step is to get unlock the green upgrades and start working on the last end game stuff and also Dyson Sphere vertical launching and Dyson Sphere is a thing so that is something we need to do as well so again thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next episode peace